we've been digging through the archives to bring you another IDTV classic. Hard rock mining is carried out deep in dark shafts which crisscross the San Juan Mountains. But late every summer, those of us who live and work in the light of day are treated to the skills of that age-old trade at the annual Hard Rockers Holidays in Silverton. The silvery San Juans have watched over such mining contests here for over a hundred years. It's not often that the elusive breed known as the hard rock miner leaves his high hole in the rock, but if there's one thing a miner loves more than the mountains, it's showing off his stuff. But it's also grueling and sometimes dangerous work, although conditions have improved greatly over the years. This machine is called a widowmaker. It dates back to the turn of the century. You'll notice that it drills without the use of water and sends a thick cloud of ore dust into the air. This combined with very close quarters made for very unhealthy lungs. And miners back then usually beat their wives to the graves, thus the name. Tom Payne of Creed and Dodie Vandermark of Buena Vista took top honors in this event. Tom says the secret is teamwork and composure. It all depends on how you get hooked up and tore down, you know. Just every little thing counts. When you're fighting for seconds, we've been beat by hundreds of a second, you know, in, in competition, and that's not much. But I've seen a lot of people that really good miners, you know, but they get out here in front of a bunch of people and they, kind of like I am in front of this microphone, all shook up. Hard Rockers is most of all a spectator event. The crowd not only watches, but becomes a part of the occasion. In fact, the competition known as double jacking is probably second only to bullfighting in the opportunity for great bodily harm category. Miners here take turns pounding inches into the rock against the clock. This is what you call really trusting your partner. Now the mining competitions are exciting, but the real crowd pleaser is the tug of war competition. It's what you call a big event, and I mean big. Teams of five weigh in at over 1,800 pounds. But the secret is in timing, not mass. And Close Plumbing of Durango knows that secret. They took top honors again this year and rarely needed the full three minutes allotted to uproot their opponents. But the ladies are not to be outdone. Tug of war is no time for delicacy. It's all for one and one for all. There they go, the first ladies pull of the afternoon, Chautauqua Tubbies on the red side of the board. So, if you always pictured Mick Jagger and the Rolling Stones when you thought of hard rockers, think again. Think Rocky Mountain Miners.